Hey Veeks, this is Michael from Technically Beekeeping. Hey, I'm freezing my butt off here in Chicago. Negative eight, and it's supposed to be getting down to negative 14 tonight. So I wanted to show you how my polyhives are doing in the apiary. So what the heck is a polyhive? I can hear many of you saying. I put it in the title, I put it in the description, but I really haven't told you what it is yet. I didn't know what these were either a few years ago. The polyhive is an insulated hive. It has an R value, which is an insulation value of around five. The typical pine box has only an R value of one. In this kind of climate, in this kind of cold, you really want to be able to keep the bees warmer. I know a lot of beekeepers will say, well, just keep your bees healthy, you know, all that insulation, whatever. Believe me, it matters. When you monitor the different temperatures that happen in the hive, it matters. The insulation not only keeps it warm in this kind of weather, which, oof, you know, we need, to, we need to keep these puppies warm. The other thing that it does is it also keeps it cooler in the springtime and in the summer when the bees are able to fan their wings, create a little bit of an air conditioner in the hive. So if you're curious why I'm sitting in the color red, check out my video on beekeeping with the color red. I think you'll find it really interesting. In future videos, I'm going to show you how to see where the colony is inside of the hive. I'm also going to show you how you can use weight sensors to be able to see how heavy the hive is. That tells you how much honey has been eaten and how the hive is doing on resources. It's also really useful to be able to measure the temperature inside of the hive. When you take that against the ambient temperature outside here, which is really freezing cold, it'll tell you, first off, is the hive dead or not? If the ambient temperature is the same as what's inside of the hive, unfortunately it's dead. And all of these sensors that I'm talking about, we can use wireless technologies to be able to broadcast that either wirelessly, cellular, there's also some lower bandwidth technologies that we can use in order to get this information back to your computer. So today I'm gonna to show you lo-fi way of being able to measure what's going on in the hive it's also a super cheap way. This is about $10, as you'd see in a doctor's office. It has the bell in the back, and then it also has a diaphragm in the front. The diaphragm is for high-frequency noises, and then the back is for low-frequency noises. You can switch over just by twisting and snapping in place. So what I do is I just put this on and listen to the high, and then push on the dot on the back. The cluster is currently in the middle of the hive, which is really a very good sign. If I want to listen to more deeper noises, I can switch this to the other mode and listen. And this gives me some of those lower frequency noises, which is really interesting to listen to. Oftentimes, as a new beekeeper, you're only going to have two hives. It's an easier way than going out and getting Wi-Fi enabled, figuring out how to get power to your apiary, how to get all the sensors installed and everything. If you're getting value out of this video, please make sure to like below. Or if you're just enjoying watching me freeze my butt off, subscribe.